Please be seated. At this time, if we could have the, children's, uh, the children come up for children's message. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are we doing? Good. Good. How was the... Um, I know it's a little, weather-wise, it's a little, what's the word? It's a little, uh, rainy, dreary, dreary, is that rainy, blustery, right, Marjorie, right, blustery, <laughs> uh, warm, kind of warm, windy, right? But it's so great to see you here. It almost feels like rainy day schedule. But anyways, uh, today I have a question for you, and, um, This question is, uh-oh, I wrote too big, Kristen. Right here. <laughs> oh, here we go. How is your faith? From the scale of 1 to 10, what does 1 look like? Right there. Sad face. So sad face means what? No. Not so good, right? And 10 means, what does that say right there? 10 means... Great, right? So my question is, how is your faith? And can anyone give me a number on how your faith is? From one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the greatest? I know it's an interesting question, right? How, how is your faith? Anyone dare to give me a number? <laughs> I know it's kind of scary to number it, right? Any thoughts on that? I know, it's, it's such a good question because at the end of the day, when we talk about our faith, you guys, we always need to remember before we think about how great is my faith, we need to ask the question, what is my faith? And that's the key. And that's why you're here to hear God's word. Because here right now, you are hearing and receiving what your faith is. I think a lot of times when we ask ourselves, how, how is our faith? We always go to the question, well, let's see, what have I done, right? But time and time again, as you come to church on Sundays, what do you always hear about? What do you always hear about during the sermon? 10 times out of 10, what do you, what do you always hear about? God. Okay, good. Jesus. God. There we go, Robert. There we go. Right? You hear Jesus. Now why? When you hear Jesus, not you only not only hear Jesus, but what he has done for you. You. Good. Because what he has done for you, there your faith is. Do you know what I mean by that? Faith is what you trust. And the only, only word that we can trust in our life is what Jesus has done for us. And I need to hear it every day. I mean, Sunday is great, but every day I need to hear this because I know as we go into the world, we, we know what we're dealing with. This is not just a once in a while thing that I need to hear about Jesus. Like, I'm a sinner. You're a sinner. And what we always need to hear is what Jesus has done for us as he forgave us of all of our sin, as he gives us everlasting life. So, how is your faith? You know, my faith is great. And you'd be like, oh, pastor, you think you're so good, right? No, it's not that. My faith, your faith is great because Jesus has shed his blood for you. Your faith is great because Jesus rose from the dead and gives you everlasting life. Your faith is great because it's not about you, but it's about what has been done for you in Jesus Christ alone. And that's the word that you always need to hear. And that's why you come here on Sunday, to hear that very word about what he has done for you. Because that's your faith. Because your faith is Jesus. That's faith. And because your faith is Jesus, that's right, your faith is great. Because it's what he has done for you. 
Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for these children. Bless them always, O Lord, in this faith, the faith that is given by the Word, the Word that is Christ. Bless them in the Gospel. Comfort them and, and grant them your peace, knowing full well that, your, that their sins are washed away and that you have given them the gift of everlasting life. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right.